Hey, congrats on the purchase of your new Koi. I uh, just wanted to record a quick little video to show uh, what to do uh, when they arrive. So first things first, uh, they're going to arrive in a box like this. May have an ice pack depending on you know the weather. Uh, may have an ammonia pack as well. And what's important is you want to make sure uh, when you're opening the box up, not to use a box cutter, don't slice it. Uh, because what can happen is you can risk uh, slicing this bag and you don't want to do that uh, you don't want to do that at least for uh, 20 or 30 minutes while the temperature is equalizing so uh, first things first um, you want to put the, the koi here and let them float for 20 to 30 minutes have the temperature get equalized and you'll notice here I've, I've got a quarantine setup I would highly recommend a quarantine setup it is a best practice um, and it, things that are important for a quarantine setup are ideal water parameters. So uh, your ammonia should be zero, nitrates should be zero, uh, nitrites uh, should be zero. Um, you can add, choose to add a little bit of salt or not. Uh, if you do, it's uh, three pounds per 100 gallon or 0.3%. Um, I'm not a big salt guy myself. Uh, I, in, instead, I like using uh, DeBride Pro Health uh, or another slime coat um, to help uh, you know, give a little bit of extra protection to the fish uh, as they're getting into the new home. But make sure you, you've tested the water, all the parameters check out. The other uh, really important one uh, that I didn't mention, uh, two more important ones I didn't mention are KH, so carbonate hardness. You want that to be uh, above 100 uh, parts per million. And uh, so six drops on, on this te test or above. And the reason that's important is so that you can avoid uh, pH swinging uh, throughout the day. So measure it in the morning, uh, measure it in the evening, uh, and make sure you know the pH is pretty stable. Uh, and your pH, you know, it, as long as it's somewhere between like 6.8 on the low end, and I would say 8 on the high end, even 8.2, I've seen be okay. Um, as long as it's like steady at that rate throughout the day, uh, morning and night you'll be fine. Uh, and that's what the K uh, carbonate hardness or KH does. If you're low on KH, uh, just add a buffer. Um, baking soda can, can work or we sell uh, special buffers as well uh, for that. So um, if you don't have uh, filtration on, on your quarantine setup, that's okay. Uh, you don't need it. Um, but if you don't have it, you're going to have to change your water, uh, you know, every couple of days. And, uh, you know, that can be you know, kind of kind of a pain sometimes. So uh, many, many folks uh, choose to have a separate quarantine with a filtration um, so that if the koi ever gets sick in the future, they have some place to pull it aside and treat it. So, um, yeah, once the bag has been floating for about 20 or 30 minutes, uh, then it's time to uh, op open up the bag and, uh, and, and release the fish. Um, sometimes, uh, if you buy a, a, a koi from like your local pet store, uh, they will advise you to come home, float the bag, dip a little bit of water in there, um, and uh, you know repeat that for tw you know, 20 to 30 minutes and then just let it go. And that's totally fine uh, if you're buying from a pet store locally and just, you know, a couple fish here and there. That, that's totally fine. But uh, receiving uh, shipped fish is a little bit different. So uh, even though we overnight these to you, what happens is the fish are producing waste in here. And they're producing two things. They're producing carbon dioxide and ammonia. Uh, carbon dioxide, uh, you know, can be worrisome at high levels. Uh, but actually in a, in a pond, in a situation like this, it's actually pretty beneficial. Uh, it helps prevent the ammonia from spiking. So what happens uh, if you were to like right now, open up the bag, you would gas off the carbon dioxide and then it would create an ammonia spike in there. And that ammonia spike, you know, can be pretty toxic to the fish and burn their gills and, and uh, you know, cause, cause them great stress. So please, 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 when you get them, just float the bag for 20 to 30 minutes, and then you're ready to, you know, ready to let them go. Um, 
The other thing too, I'm in the shade here, but if it, if you are in the sun, just make sure that uh, you know you're covering it so that uh, the sun isn't beating down on it and that they stay cool. Um, I always like adding uh, some beneficial bacteria uh, to help give a jump start uh, to your system and the cycle, the denitrification cycle. So I would recommend that. And yeah, it's been been about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release the fish. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I wanna keep the, as much of the wastewater in here and out of my system as possible. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut the bag. And then if your hands are clean and washed, you can use your hands. If, uh, you know, if you have a net, I uh, recommend using a net. But from here, you just can scoop the fish out. Again, trying to keep as much of the, uh, pond, uh, the water that's in the, in the bag uh, as possible. And I like using uh, a really like fine net like this so that, you know, there's no risk in uh, hurting their, you know, their fins as you, as you pull them out. Other than that, I hope you really enjoy your new koi and um, thanks for, thanks for thinking of us. Have a great day.